Broadsword calling Danny Boy. Okay, YouTubers, this is Joe from Artanian TV. Got a remake for you here today. This is from Soul 530. Now, this is a video I did initially back in February this year, so not, not far off a year ago. Um, you're probably going to want to download the large format panoramic of this one, but the 14 meg one, 15 meg one will probably do the job. You can also get it from here, which is the NASA website, and it's from Soul 530, obviously. Here's the number, Sol 530, mask cam left. Okay, links will be in the description as usual. And the area we're looking at is here. And on this one, the area we're gonna look at is top right, just by this dark patch here. Okay, so let's crack straight on with it. I'll try and keep this short. Um, right, now, where do we start? <laughs> I've got them up in my PaintShop Pro. Now here's the, the the one from the NASA site, which is the raw so-called raw image. Now when you zoom into this, it's very dark, and it's got all these horrible compression lines all over it, and, and blocks and blurs and all sorts of crap over it. So when I made the initial video, this is the one I used, and it it was grungy and it took a lot of work to try and clean it up and get any detail from it. So what I did do is is get it from the the French website, this one here. And even though this has got a, a, a lower DPI, I think the DPI on this is probably only 72 instead of 200, it's actually better quality. So they must have taken them from the actual raw images before they stitched them together. So it's actually better, even though the DPI is less, if you, if you get my drift. Um, <laughs> so I do recommend the, the, the panoramic to work from. I've got it up here in my viewer. And... This is the spot just here on the top right. When I zoom out, you can see it. So it's right over here on the, at the end of this ridge on this slope. And this is better quality. It, it, it's not brilliant, but it's slightly better than the one from the NASA site uh, for some reason. So now when you go in, it's, it's still very dark. It's in quite heavy shadow here. And the, the color is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, it's terrible color. Um, but I was I was sent a, 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 an email by someone a, a few months back saying that they spotted what looks like an ejector seat just here, which is a few meters back from this possible dead soldier guy here, uh, and there it is, and it could well be, but it's really really hard to tell. It's partly obscured by this rock in front, but it does seem to be like a seat here, um, perhaps, who knows. Um, and this guy may well be a dead pilot, uh, and this could be part of his aircraft here, or part of the another part of the ejector seat, or part of the cockpit, or some kind of technology that he's um, lying next to. So I'll quickly show you it in in here. Here's the raw image, um, and when you when you zoom in close, it is really grungy. So the only thing you can really do with something like this is to draw round him and brighten it up and use a bit of blur. I've brightened it up here. Uh, there's been no effects added to that. That's just been brightened. Okay, that's a clip there. And then what I did is I drew round him and changed the, ca the color temperature to black and white. I changed it to black and white and then up the color temperature of him to highlight him. And I basically drew round and sharpened it, softened it, changed the contrast. And I, I don't think I can push much more out of this thing because it's it's a poor quality image to sort of like the, most of these are. But when you look at it up, up close, it does seem to have what looks like a gun holster here and quite a long arm with what could be a hand here and his head, elongated kind of head sticking out the back with a, a sort of eye there and a nose and a mouth. And he's got two legs sticking out here with his feet. With bare feet. Now this guy could have, if there was a nuclear war, Mars, this guy could have died in in that. At the time, he could have froze to death. We don't know. I mean, but he does look very much like a, a corpse, wearing a trench coat with a gun holster. Um, what can I say? Um, <laughs> I'm not going to go to, on too long about this because you can always watch the original, which is still pretty cool. Um, there's here's the basic cutout I did before I, I sharpened it up, and you can you can see that. That those are legs sticking out and feet there but you're never going to get a lot of detail because it's quite a long way off and it's a it's a, a low res 
well, just a, a, a poor quality image, basically. Uh, the cameras on the Rover are really, really quite primitive um, as, as digital cameras go. This was sent to me by, by V Brigham, uh, one of my subscribers and one of my team. Uh, and he, he did a slightly different cutout here, and he actually thinks that the, the dude's arm is left arm is sticking out behind him, and he may well be correct. Um, it does look like there's something sticking out there. It's hard to t it's hard to tell. There's something sticking up here. Now I actually think that some of this stuff around this strange object behind is organic growth. And if I show you the video, the original video, it goes into a little bit of detail about that. Um, uh, but compare this coat on this great coat or trench coat on this guy, this World War Two guy here. I'll let that play through a little bit. It does. It does look similar. Um, you've got this long trench coat, and the guy sort of lying in the dirt, probably possibly died. You know, froze to death. Who knows what happened to this guy? Um, he could have been shot. He could have been shot down. He could have died of starvation. We have no idea. Um, it could just be a pile of rocks, but a pile of rocks <laughs> don't normally look like that. I mean, you've got symmetry in here. This object here looks like some kind of weapon or maybe some kind of machine or, or a bit of equipment. It could be something like this. Absolutely no idea what it could be. Pure speculation as usual. But um, it's definitely something there. And uh, it's not, I really don't, don't think it's just a pile of rocks. I'll give you another quick look. I might put an extra clip or two at the end of the video because you, I, I can get it nice and close and you can see some of this stuff. But let's have another close look at him. There we go. It does look like a gun holster. Now, I didn't get this out quite so clearly in the original video. Um, I've pushed the, pushed this one out a bit more. So there you go. What do you think? Uh, it certainly looks like a dead alien to me with one arm droop to, drooping down there on his feet sticking out, his bones kind of withered and, and rotted, his flesh rotted away on his legs. Could have been there a million years, could have been there a hundred years. I think nearer a hundred myself, but that's just my opinion. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you soon.